Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about how to get our enemies to move from a certain location to another location while avoiding obstacles. So currently, our enemies are just moving straight down. But life's not like that. In fact, life has a lot of twists and turns. How can we get our tanks to move along a path? Well, one way that might seem to work is if we put a ton of move, like move it to here, move it to there. So like if we had a track like this, we would tell it to move to this location, then to this location, then to this location, here, 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 here. That seems so hard. Um, again, programmers are lazy. We like to find a more efficient way than programming a hundred movement statements for each enemy. And I'm sure there's a better way. So that is what we will cover, at least the theory part of it, in this video. Now, for now, I want to highlight something by playing, um, by showing you this balloon star defense. Notice, if I place this down, by the way, this is the best location to put this at the very beginning. If I put it down, notice if I start, there are balloons. This is not firing at it because it has a range. Okay. So once the balloons enter the range, then it will start firing at it. And the bullets only travel to that range. We'll cover that in later videos, but I want to show you this from the last video that we um, I made. Awesome. So, back to the question. How can we get our enemies to follow a path? Well, why don't we try making a path first? I'm going to add a new sprite, like a barrier. I'm going to make it a barrier, and I'm just going to borrow an image. Honestly, when you're first trying to get the code to work, feel free to use whatever image you want. I'm going to borrow an image from the platformer tutorial. I'm just going to borrow the um, oh, sweet talks. Uh, borrow the grass. All right. So I'm gonna oh, let's rename that. I'm gonna name it barrier. Just for now. And I'm gonna plop that down right here. Make it bigger. It's gonna be straight there. Well. Maybe this will block our enemy tanks. No, what? They're traveling like right underneath it. <laughs> okay. Maybe if I put it on the same layer. Well, let's let's put this layer barrier to Z order zero. So same Z order, um, maybe same layer. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm just gonna put an enemy right here. Maybe this will work. It's on the same base layer. I don't think this enemy will move because I'm not creating it. No, no, it should. It should. All right, so even that enemy didn't work. But wait, isn't it on the same Z order and same layer as that grass? Shouldn't they collide? Well, in the real world, yes. Things that occupy the same space will, well, theoretically, physically, that's not possible. Uh, things cannot occupy the same space. But if they could, they would be in collision with each other. But it doesn't quite work like that in this game world. And this is something that the developers of G-Develop, you know, they foresaw, or at least they fixed. And I found a solution in this Pathfinders. So I went ahead and looked at the documentation um, that G-Develop provides. And I was reading about, uh, that's handling collisions other features, behaviors. 
pathfinding. It seemed like something we wanted to do. It allows us to move objects to a selected destination as well as to flag items as obstacles. Objects that are flagged as obstacles will be avoided by the moving objects. So the G developer people have already coded this logic for us. Right? And they tell you how to do it, how to add the behavior. So option one is to add the pathfinding behavior to the object that will be finding a path. Customization. This one is what is the behavior that you want to add for the obstacle, obstacle for pathfinding. And we can kind of see it in action with these two examples, which I have pulled up. So here it is. And click play. And while that's loading, I'm going to go ahead and go here. Hope it's not too laggy. All right. Here's another one. So I'll wait for this to load. So here's me. I'm going to click. And notice how it doesn't go in a straight line, but it tries to avoid all those obstacles. And if we want, we can look at the logic behind this. We can look at here. And what is it doing? Well, if I put the touch or left mouse, if I click, essentially, it's going to put the flag, this flag thing, this red marker, to the position of the mouse, wherever the mouse was when I clicked. It's going to move the tank there. And if I look at the tank, let's see right here. I see it has a pathfinding behavior. And if I look at these blocks, I notice it is a pathfinding obstacle and it's impassable. So impassable and this cost. And you can read about that up here in the documentation. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another one. Again, I definitely did not know how to do this before, but I know how to read documentation and I know how to try things out and I'm not afraid of making mistakes. So click and touch an empty area. Why, why can he not go, to, oh, okay. So, He's not, oh, he's avoiding those blocks. I can also move these blocks. Wow. I think that's another behavior. All right. And if we look at the code, um, similar thing. Okay. Basically, whenever I click, it's going to move the player to that position. Awesome. So now that we know the theory, let's try and implement it in our game. Can you, on your own, try to implement the pathfinding behavior to our enemies and the obstacle to the barrier? Go ahead, pause the video, and try it right now. If you need help, feel free to look back at this video. If you try it and you succeed, great. Um, maybe watch the video to see how I do it. Awesome, how'd that go? So let's go ahead and check. Uh, let's go ahead and add the behavior. I want to add the pathfinding behavior to my enemy. For this barrier, I want to go ahead and add the um, obstacle. It is an obstacle. Let's go ahead and see if that works. Hmm. What? What's going on? I thought that everything exactly like they said. Is there something else that I forgot?
Hmm. Well, stay tuned for the next episode of Mr. Wong's class. <laughs>